Welcome to Liberty Explained, your guide to libertarianism. My name is Chris Spangle. Our goal is to share libertarian solutions for the future with you. Visit libertyexplained.com to subscribe to the podcast and to search our library of issues and book recommendations. On this episode, uh, well, first let me welcome the co-host here, Julia Geyer, Levy Rainey. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. Thanks for having us. So this is a very simple episode. We got asked, how do I register to vote? Can I register in every state? Where do I vote? Um, you can't register in all 50 states. You can only register in your state. Um, but the best way to, to, to you can go to vote.gov to register to vote right now. You probably want to do it quickly. Visit your state election board website. That's another way. Or your county clerk, the election board. So in the way it works in Indiana, it's kind of similar in, in a lot of states. You have... Um, the election division or the election board at the state level, which is made up of mainly the two parties. And, uh, you know, they, they have lawyers and they help people and it's all bipartisan, tripartisan. They were always super helpful to me when I worked for the Libertarian Party and, and super nice and, and just great people. And um, they were really eager to help. And we found that with most of the county clerks. We have 92 counties. The county clerk is the one that runs the election division. There's also an election board at the county level. What we found a lot of times is that the county clerks don't fully understand election law. They're people that wanted to run for office. They're usually party hacks that are trying to run for another office, and they don't understand a ton about election law. And so they end up county clerk, and then all of a sudden they're running elections, and it's very confusing. And so the check and balance on that is your state election division. And uh, But your county is really where you'll go to register. And uh, you, there are a lot of registration deadlines, and many of them are coming up soon. We're recording this on September 19th, but you cannot... Some places have same-day voter registration where you could walk up on election day and register, but a lot of states need time basically to process your voter registration. So essentially, when you register to vote, you sign your, you fill out your address and you sign your name. That signature is really, really important, and I'll tell you why in a minute. Okay, so deadlines exist so the voter data can be processed and ready for poll workers on election day. When I walk into my local precinct, I see what in Indiana we call a wagon book or a voter registration book, and it has my name, my address, the precinct I vote in, and my signature is scanned in there so they can see that. And then they ask me to sign my name next to my signature, and they compare it to make sure that I'm the person that I say I am. We have voter ID, so I have to show my driver's license here. And um, that all helps cut down on voter fraud. When you fill out an absentee ballot, they will compare that absentee ballot to the voter ID signature. And in a, in a recount, essentially, and we're probably all going to learn this the hard way, in a recount, they take that voter ID signature and the in-person or absentee ballot, and they compare the signatures, and if they don't match, they toss them out. Now, in some cases, it's wildly different. It's the difference between my handwriting and Levy's handwriting. If she were forging my ballot, is wildly different. But sometimes those lawyers who are involved in the recount will go, he didn't cross the T in Christopher, so therefore he didn't intend to vote for the other candidate. Toss that ballot out. Um, so you want to make sure that you know what your ballot signature looks like and your voter ID and make sure that you sign it consistently um, because that will matter. Let's say if you're in Dade County in Florida and uh, this election becomes close. Um, you know, I've, I've worked on recounts one one of my candidates that I volunteered for won by three votes, the other one by 14 votes. The Senate race in Minnesota was decided by less than 100 votes. Voter, while it's not common, it isn't rare. You, you can get recounts in your state happening a lot, and there are lawyers who are very good at trying to toss out ballots. So make sure you visit vote.gov to register. Go to your state election board website or call your county clerk. Check where your polling place is at. Make sure that you are you have everything squared away in terms of your, your voter ID card, your signature, know how to vote, know where to vote. And you can always call your county clerk and ask them. If they're not nice, call your election board at the state level, and they can help you. Now, um, a lot of polling places, like I think my polling place is different because I went to indianavoters.gov or .in.gov, and it's different than the place that I normally vote at. So with everything that's going on, there's going to be a lot of shifting things. And the people at the county clerk's office or the election board, the election division, they're there to help you. And they're usually very helpful. 
libertarians often kind of think, oh, government is evil and it's full of evil bureaucrats. And then when you actually talk to one of those people who get their paycheck from a government, they're really just there to help. And they're actually nice people. And that is, I've never worked with a county clerk that wasn't incredibly helpful in getting one of our candidates on a ballot. And so don't be afraid of just picking up that phone and, and asking for help. So are both of you registered to vote? Do you know where to vote, how to vote, all that stuff? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. All right. Me too. So too. with that being said, there's not, not a ton there. It's, it's a fairly easy process. So with that, we will say, I will say, Julia Levy, thank you for staring at me as I blew <laughs> you that answer. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> all right. Thank you for listening to Liberty Explained. Be sure to check out the website and we will see you soon.